back to my bathroom. Forgive the no makeup on the eyes look. But today I wanted to show, I've had so many requests to do um, how I do my eye makeup. So I, do, I have two general ways that I start. One's either black or it's either white. It's black or white. So that's how my base starts with. The first thing I'm, go I'm just going to quit yapping, quit talking, and get started. The first thing I use is MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I just put a little bit on my finger and rub it on my eyelid, on the top, and up, and along the bottom, on both sides. This just helps your, your um, eyeshadows to stick and it lasts. This helps my eyeshadows to last 12, 14 hours. So we're going to do this eye in black and the other one in white. So you can either use, I have the MAC Shark Skin, which I love this. It's, this is more of a sparkly version. It doesn't really look sparkly there, and I've had it forever. It's old and disgusting. Or a um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. So the first thing going, I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mirror here. The first thing I'm going to do is just put the, sl the slightest bit here on the top of my eye and underneath the eye. And I have a special brush that I use just for, I, this is just my, this is, I call this my black brush because this is what I use to blend all that in. So I just blend it up and because I'm older, I usually try to take this up past the crease to anything black is going to um, recede, anything white is going to enhance. So I want to make that hooded part that kind of, this right here says, get a facelift, get a facelift. But this over here says, don't do it, I'm scared to death. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to use makeup or whatever to kind of hide what I, what nature is. Gravity! So I take that along the top, and like I said, I take it right up onto that bone right there above the crease and blend it. And get right down into the lashes. And underneath, I just take my brush and, and blend that as well as I can. And kind of form a little V out here. Then I take, this is my nasty brush, I take this and blend this up pretty good. Just the, the, the rough edges there to blend it so it doesn't look harsh, okay? That's, we're working on the black side. Then this is my favorite and mo most neutral color. This is called Quarry by Mac. It's just kind of a, a neutral brownish, I don't know, plumish brown. I love that color. So I'm going to take a, just a fluffy brush, swirl it in, and I'm going to go over the very top of that black and under, just in the V, just to kind of make that gradiate. Gradiate? Is that a word? And then my favorite highlighter color is MAC in uh, Gesso. It's just a white um, highlighter, wh just a white eyeshadow powder, and it is uh, matte. It, it has no sparkle in it. So I usually just take that and put it right under the eyebrow. I also put it inside the eye here. And then I just <clears throat> take my brush and blend all that together. So that's my black side. <clears throat> On the other side, we're going to do it a little, we're going to go backwards. We're going to go completely backwards, and we're going to take the gesso. We're going to use all the same colors on the same, on that. And I want to just pass that, pack it right onto the lid. And while I have it out, I'm going to go ahead and do above my eyebrow. See? Facelift, facelift. I just won't do Botox. I'm scared to death to do Botox. I'm scared to death to do anything. So inner corner, under the brow, and packed it on the eyelid. I can't decide which one I like better. I'm going to look like a freak right when I get done with this. Then I'm going to take my quarry once again and um, my fluffy brush. And go, I'm going to hit that bone up there again because I want to hide that, to make that go um, recede, that big fat wrinkle. My life has become a big fat wrinkle, but that's okay. 
and just kind of follow that under in the eye socket and a little bit above it on that bone and under. And then I like to take my, the, my dirty black brush that I use for black and go underneath on this side and then just really hit it in the socket there. So that's my black side and here's my light side. And you can use other colors. Like if I do the black, I like to sometimes, this is, this, I love this color. It's not real keen on the name, it's called Winkle. When my kids were little, their privates were called Winkies. So every time I pull this out, I think of that. It's a Winky, it's a Winkle. So you could replace the quarry with a blue, with a purple, a lavender, whatever color. So there are my two colors and I'm going to uh, apply my eyeliner and let you decide which one you like the best. And this is just my version of either black base or white base. I'm going to lay my, this is the L'Oreal um, Liner Intense, the felt tip. I love it. I just lay it on the eyelashes, go straight out, go from the bottom corner, follow your eyelid on the bottom and go up. I'm liking my wings lately. Same on this eye. Lay it on my eyelashes. Go straight out. Follow the bottom eyelid. Go straight up and connect them. Just fill it in. See, I like a good wing. Then I'm going to take... Um, Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in Zero and do the waterline and the tight line. Apply mascara. My favorite mascara has become this uh, fiber wig by Amaju. I'm still using my um, Lilash, but I really like this mascara. This one's old, but I love it. Apply mascara on the top and on the bottom. I'm not going to bore you with that. Okay, I'm not sure if you can tell the difference here, but um, this is my black side. I used the black base and then put the white and the, the quarry over that and then the white. And over here, I did the white base with the quarry and the um, white highlight. So that's either black or white. I don't think I'm going to go out like this because it looks a little freaky. Um, my earrings today I got from Beauty Junkie 86. If you remember, she was the winner of my um, Tiffany bracelet. Bless her little heart. She wanted to tell me thank you. I don't, you guys don't have to send me things. You're so sweet that you do. She sent me these earrings, which I absolutely, aren't they just so, they're just so me. It's like she knew what to get me. My nail polish is from Model Zone. I believe, I looked it up, I believe it's uh, Coral Reef, that beautiful corally color, much like the Malibu Peach that went all over my um, hallway. I got one of these EOS. I love these things. This one she got me in Lemon, which I love these. I, I think I'm addicted to lip balm. I read that you can get addicted to lip balm, and I think that I am. Uh, she also got me another model. Isn't that the prettiest lemony color? Um, another lip balm. It's a good thing she sent me a lip balm. I am addicted to it. This one's called Fruity Starlet. Um, how fun is that? And it smells divine. It really does. It smells heavenly. Self-heating smoothie mask. This all came in this wonderful little bag. I just love the earrings. They're just so me. And then a little book that says Wisdom for the Soul. S-O-L-E. She knows how much I love shoes. It's all a book. Thou shalt not worship any other accessory. Thou shalt not mistake the name of the designer. Manolo who? Manolo Blahnik. And it's just all kinds of little quips like this. I absolutely love it. Uh, she also sent me some Youth Dew, which was my mother's favorite scent. I cannot smell this scent without thinking of my mother. I haven't been able to wear it since she passed away, but I'm going to. Um, Thank you, Sarah Jane, Beauty Junkie 86. If you're not subscribed to her, I recommend that you do. Um, the black and the white. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. One last thing before I go. One of my, la my most favorite secret weapons that I've found lately. I love this stuff. It's the MAC Prep and Time. Ooh, 
MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. I love this stuff. It's just a white powder. It's great when you're finished with your, um, when you're all done with your makeup. I like to put just a little bit on my brush and just put it everywhere. It just really finishes off everything. I put it over my eye makeup. It just gives you that finished um, airbrush look. I love this stuff. This has become my, I wonder if I could put this on my husband. Finishing powder. Just finish him off really pretty. I've got to go fix my face before I go to lunch. I look crazy. I've got somebody hit me in the eye with this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.